Good morning, everyone. It's already like a day later than I wanted to be recording this. It's just been one of those weeks. I think it's like a combo of pregnancy brain and then the weather changing and me only wanting to just snuggle up and nap. Um, and just like, I don't know. I uh, very nearly prepared myself for the wrong doctor's appointment yesterday. It's fine. Also, it was a nurse. Anyway, um, today's video is a flip through for October 2021 of my Filofax Malden. Um, if you are regular around here and actually pay attention, why would you? But I think I usually do my weekly play with me videos bef the week before my flip through videos, but I wanted to switch it up this week. Why not? Um, and so <laughs> we're, that's what we're going to do today. Uh, Filofax Malden Color Ochre Pocket Size. Um, I love it. I got this second hand and it's very pretty. It just makes me happy. Just little things like, you know, these little scuffs or whatever. It's still so glossy and pretty and I don't know. And it also is now fitting the fall weather and the fall colors that I have set up in here. So let's jump in. Uh, let's see. I'll do pockets. The back pocket has some useful things. Checks I need to cash. Checks. Actually, I need to put some more in there. Um, like my own checks for writing them. Some stickers. Um, I had a jury summons in here until last week. Thank goodness. Thank goodness that's over. Um, if you follow my stories, you, I, I had Dave Longgood or whatever sort of on stories. Uh, is there anything in my front pocket? Oh, stamps. Useful thing to keep stamps in here. And then also some more stickers. But I don't think I have any, uh, any change. I do just have a diary key that never even had a diary to go to it. I don't know. I just, I keep putting it back in there. Something about it is kind of cute. Um, so the front po card pocket, I'm trying to keep these card pockets more or less empty and that's not working great. This one I used to cut washi tape. Let's see, then I have, uh, let's see, a gas card and a library card. And then I've got, I know people keep telling me not to put my vaccine card in here, but it fits so nice and then I haven't lost it. So, um, and then I have some insurance cards in here because we keep having appointments for things. I can probably take the girls ones out now because they are done for a while till yeah until march i was gonna say there's one of them will have an appointment before the new baby is born but not by a lot uh back pocket has like stickers um i think my husband's gas card is in here i need to, need to get that back to him and then um there's nothing in this one right now i think this pocket has like i said stickers and i think it has a peanuts planner code daily oh there it is i used one of these recently oh nope that's not a daily <laughs> Sorry, that's my baby. Uh, sometimes my sprocket, this guy, um, prints like a, an extra of what I'm printing, uh, which is kind of annoying because, you know, you have to buy that paper, but at least it has a very, very cute little baby on it. So we begin flipping. Uh, here is this, all of these frosted tabs and dividers I got from an Etsy shop that no longer exists. Which is a bummer. It stopped existing like shortly after I bought them, and now I can't. I like I wanted to start telling the world about how cool they are, but no. Nope. Um, then the acetates are from Peanuts Planner Co. Or Michael's. Then here's the currently dashboard, uh, which I you know decorated on my monthly play with me, but I haven't filled it out yet because it it's not the fifteenth yet. Um, even as you're watching this, it is not the fifteenth yet, and I want to try to do it towards the middle of the month so as not to you know, like I tried filling it out at the beginning of the month and it, it didn't apply at all. It was things that I was doing for the first couple of days of the month. Um, so here we are. I'm using the dated monthly for a change. This is insert 14. This was recently released on my shop for 2022. So it is all set to go. Um, if you are looking to get planned that far ahead or just ready to go, um, that exists. Then... And oh, I apologize also, I mentioned it in that video, but my computer was acting up that day and I honestly just couldn't be bothered to like keep trying to figure it out. Um, I, it has fixed itself since. I think it was just needed to get used to a new ink cartridge. One line a day journal and Bible near podcast. Um, this does remind me to get it done, but I think I might want to find a new way to remind me next year because like I haven't been filling this out. I filled it out yesterday. Um, and like I finished filling out all of September yesterday, um, because this is not the thing. Sometimes, like I said, this, this entire piece of paper will remind me to pull out the line of day journal and back the last week. Um, 
but it's uh, yeah it's not like it's not a tracker it's not really that motivating and this i do anyway because it's part of my routine i do this on my commute here's my level 10 life i haven't redone it in a while i should probably put dates on it when i do it um because i kind of use it as a exercise and then i don't look at it again it's kind of pretty because it's a rainbow color so it's in there then this is my monthly resolutions page. Uh, I haven't really been making them lately, and that's okay. You know, that's the thing. It's only a month, so I can always, if I feel like I need a goal for the month, I can write it down. If I don't, I don't. Uh, waiting on list. I don't use it very often, so it's, it stays in here forever. Then the first tab is the future planning stuff. I, I really feel like I need to reorganize all these tabs again because everything feels a bit disjointed. But it's one of those things where like you feel like you'd be more productive if you got some like hardcore planning done. But also you don't really feel like you have the time to do that because your planner is disorganized to begin with. So that's the kind of funk I'm in right now. This is my future log from Peanuts Planner Co. Um... I have been using it for years, but I think I'm going to try my own next year so that, you know, it's my own. Um, and then this is the end afterwards. Um, I also have a far future log insert that's going to be released in maybe, I forget which day it is. Um, maybe it might be near the end of this week, but I'm releasing a new tw like yearly insert every day this week. Uh, tomorrow, Friday is the last day. So uh, if you haven't checked those out yet, I have been posting them over on stories and highlighting them so that you can see like every single side as I go through a little bit. Um, let's see. I'll show you one of those in a second. These are school calendars. I keep them folded up for privacy reasons, but also so they fit and that works pretty well. Then recurring tasks. This front page is pretty much done and the back page is definitely not, but I like that it fits on one page. It doesn't always happen. This is my birthdays and anniversaries fold out, which has been in here for like the entire time that I've been in a ring planner, which was spring 2018. So this piece of paper is getting old um, and I have no need to update it, but I did release an insert for this concept. So I am going to move into this. I'm starting to move data from this one to this one. I've gotten through March. Um, so the idea with this guy, which is insert 55 is you got, you know, your months listed. This one was just released on Tuesday, I think, um, months listed. And then the date of the month, the name or, or of the person or event, and then the year it happened. So I'll put the July, I'll put two Agnes 2018 and then I don't have to like, you're not writing, oh, she turns four in 2022, which is crazy. Um, you put, okay, you just count, you know, and so you might have to do a little bit of math every so often, but you're never going to have to redo this insert. So that's the idea. Next, speaking of babies, tab number two is my weekly. And I always put uh, one of these sprocket photos on there. She's pretty cute. This is what I'm doing for my weeklies this month. It's different. I felt like I needed to shake things up and I'm already feeling like I want change because you do, um, but there you go. On this side, I have half of insert two, which is the split weekly. So you have Monday through Friday on one page and then the other page of this is the weekend on this page. But instead I have this Alistair weekly, which is insert seven, I wanna say. Um, and that's been working, just having a to-do list. And if I don't get things done, I move them to the next column, um, more or less. And then I'm trying to reserve this column for events rather than tasks. And then this is things that are like every day. So you see the bottom row is for dinner. The top row is for like content being released that day. Let me see again here. Uh, content and then the insert that's being released that day. And then in theory, I was going to put the dinner at the bottom laundry. I need to do laundry today. Oh gosh. I've been distracted by stuff that's not important. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah. You can see my checklist is, uh, I mean, I'm filming this Wednesday, early, early morning, so I still have plenty of time, but I don't think I want to get it all done. Um, I also am using the little circles for weekend events at the bottom. Then yeah, I have two more weeks ready for that to go. Uh, this one is going to, this one, 
No. This one, I think, is going to be a weekly plan with me video. So, one of those. So, that's next week's video. Stay tuned. Uh, tab number three. Oh, gosh, only tab number three. I need to speed up. Uh, this is my inbox. I keep it folded over so that I don't have to pull out sticky notes and cover it from you guys and your nosy nosies. Um, whatever. It, it's nothing super important, but uh, stuff that I should probably keep private for reasons because I just need to have a place to write stuff. But I don't use this very often. This has been the same four months now. So there, I go through phases where like I write things down there or whether I write things on like a sticky note and then move it in. Uh, gold planning. This is a gold planning answer is from Peanuts Planner Co. And I really like that it's like a small project thing and you don't have to like use an entire project page for something very simple. Um, this is just like rooms I needed to declutter and stuff. I've got some of them done, some of them I still want to work on. Backyard has all the tasks checked off, but there's still a lot of stuff that's just ugh, out there. We're working on it. We're working on just like, we're still working on like the hardscaping and getting the garden set up and then we're going to have to keep tidying because there's just stuff everywhere, but it's good. It's looking great. Um, oh gosh. And I conmarried my wardrobe, which I'm loving. Um, however, I now have a pack and play full of clothes that I'm not using, which needs to just be sorted into like the rag pile and the donate pile and the sell pile. Um, this was Halloween costumes. And then she keeps changing her mind. It was Vanellope von Schweetz. That got nixed after months and months of that being the plan. Um, then it was a dino princess. Now it's a ballerina princess. And I keep putting off buying the stuff. But I need to because, you know, parties are going to start happening. Um, and every single time I ask her, it's like slightly different. So we'll see. She's just, she's got to be happy. Um, someday maybe list. And then a honeydew list. I've mentioned before, the ones that actually have dots next to them are the ones that I've actually asked him to do. <laughs> the rest are just like someday, maybe. <laughs> uh, these are craft projects. That I, I ignore this section, but they are in here. Craft projects I'm working on or in theory I'm working on. This is like some stuff for the garden, some planning for our lettuce bed, which you still need to get the soil for. That was summer, summer sketches. Then this one here is, um, my content schedule, which I would show you more in depth, but like we're only halfway through the month. So I'm going to keep it kind of covered, but it's color coded. There's Instagram and YouTube and it works. I need to print out November, December, um, probably January too, uh, so that I can start planning ahead soon. Cause when we reach the middle of the month, I want to look ahead and keep on top of things because you know, I'm never going to do any, anything that's really good if I never give myself time. You're just going to end up with a flip through video like this, where I sit down in the morning with a cup of coffee and chatter. Um, so this is the pregnancy bundle. This is insert B. Uh, well, it's insert 40 and this part is B, which is a page per week. Um, I worked so hard on all these little sketches and they are very useful to have one place. I got them from one source. I'm not going to keep looking up different lists. Just go with it, you know? So she's a lime this week. I had a craving and I've satisfied my craving and oh my goodness. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, I only have printed out through here at this point. I mean, I have the rest printed out, I think somewhere, but they're not in here because it takes up space and, uh, I don't know, but yeah, I will put more in here. I figured I'll put it up I'll, I'll fill it up until after the first trimester. When I have energy again, I will be able to go find them and put them in. <laughs> but I wanted to make myself things easy for myself for the first few months. This calendar has been super useful, actually. This is the, um, like, what did I call it? Weeks pregnant calendar, where basically you fill out your entire pregnancy in days. That's the part that takes a while. But now um, I was like, okay, uh, they set up some new appointments for me, right? So they're like, okay, you have an appointment on December 20th. So I look, I say, okay, December 20th, that's here. I turn 22 weeks on the tw the Saturday of that week, which is the 25th. So I'll be 21 weeks and two days uh, when that appointment happens. It's just good to know, you know, because that means, okay, they haven't scheduled me for my scan yet, but that'll probably happen sooner than that. Um, they've got me in for a video visit. 
which I mean, I don't have to travel for it, so that's good. These are checklists. I pulled out the first page with month one and two. Um, I There's not that much to do for a third baby. I already set up the registry because I uh, am extra that way. Uh, so mostly, yeah, I'll pull that out again at Black Friday. And I have some things to sort of, like, I'm already extra and looked up the link for where to get my breast pump, but like... I have somewhere to write that down so that that work doesn't get lost. And yeah, I probably should remember what the postpartum tasks are. Stuff about birth certificates. Did I ever get, I don't know if I ever got our one year old's birth certificate. Okay. Anyway, um, the next, th these three top tabs are like pregnancy stuff. And I think I'll probably consolidate them at some point when I reorganize, but this is all covering up appointments because I don't want you to know where my appointments are, but this is what it looks like. It tells you who, what, where, and when, like how many weeks, and any notes relevant to that. And then these are questions for the doctor. Just QA, QA. I have a couple in there, but I don't really want to tell you those. It's personal. Tab five. We're nearing the end, guys. Tab five is sort of a conglomeration of sort of shopping themed, which I hate thought of, but like, that's kind of how they all fit together and they just needed somewhere to live. So that's the category. It starts with the meal plan. That's always in the front so that I can quickly, what's for dinner? Uh, nothing that's not do that doesn't need defrosting. Um, I need to make, I need to cook a bunch of bacon. Okay. Um, so that's there. It exists. At least I know what we have the ingredients for, but I'm not super on top of it this week. Uh, I, I cooked dinner last night. Doesn't that mean I'm done? Uh, and then the grocery list would go on the back of that as you're planning the next week. And then you bring this with you to the store. Um, so I, I have an extra one in here. I need to always have at least one more in here because otherwise I'm going to start, you know, I'll, I'll open it up to plan my menu and not have a menu planning insert and it's just not going to get done. Gift ideas. I'm not going to like go through this in depth, but those are some gift ideas I have for people generally. Then wish list for myself. And then that's useful coming up. And then um, my to read, watch, listen thing, uh, which I haven't been, I've been just watching a lot of old YouTube videos, like videos I've seen before. I guess that's the kind of mood I'm in. It's just need something on in the background. But I do want to do my MCU rewatch. I still haven't. Man, how many flip throughs have I said that? So like, anyway, uh, library books. I need to get better about actually putting these renewal dates on my calendar. Um, but fortunately my library does text me the day before. So I didn't lose it. I didn't miss it. I had to renew all of these. We've been listening to Narnia, an audiobook on our drive to school, which has been really good. Uh, so we're on Prince Caspian right now. And then that's it. Page or tab six is just the divider for spare paper, which I have a lot of in here for some reason. I guess that means I haven't been doing a lot of actual planning lately. And then in the back, uh, this is still a, a prototype version, but this insert is going to be released. Uh, I, th I think maybe today might be in a few hours. Stay tuned to my Insta stories and I'll show you all about it. That's that's for you. All right. Um, that, that's everything. I don't know if you can tell it's early in the morning. I'm a little sleepy. My nose is kind of whacked up cause it's like Santa Ana's. And so allergy season, I guess happens. My poor daughter had a runny nose and I think it was also itching her, but like we just, we played it safe and kept her home from school on Monday and she was bummed about that. But that's everything. Don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, next weekend, it's, or next week, next Thursday is going to be a weekly plan with me video. So stay tuned for that. Um, and I'll see you in the, I'll see you then. Okay. Bye.